Welcome back, everyone, to week eight of Peak. It's been a while. Last week, we only had Social Club, and I was away, so I'm sorry for any confusions about sessions, but I'm excited to be back. And like every other Peak, we had to kick it off with Frank. We have to end it with Frank. So Frank Vandenberg is joining us once again, going to lead us through an amazing session. I hope you are all excited as we wrap up Peak. So without further ado, Frank, you can take it away. Thank you, Justin. Thank you for having me again. Good evening, everyone. It is again Monday evening, seven o'clock. It's kind of the regular time that I get to see you every peak season, probably twice. The last time I saw you was the first week of season six. And I'm going to test you a little bit because I had a question for you back then. This is seven weeks ago, and we're going to get back to it. So stay tuned. Um, it's really good to be with you. Don't you like it's summer now? That is nice and warm, that you can, that you can wear your shorts, that we have pretty long days. It's kind of comfortable. It's really, really nice. And let's, let's hope this summer is going to be good. Not too hot, but nice and comfortable for us to be outside. And I, ho I hope that you can be outside lots uh, during this summer. So I have prepared a few, uh, a few things that is part of uh, maximize your mind, mental fitness. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna remind ourselves what this mental fitness is about, what how we can maximize our mind, and what we can do tonight. And tonight is week eight of season six of the peak program so you're probably getting very very close if you're not already on the top of your mountain you're pretty close getting pretty close you're pretty close ending up with uh, canada day weekend you must be looking forward to that that's always a nice holiday and uh, so let me get started and uh, i think i've seen or know most of you but i'm not sure if i really know everyone. So I'm going to introduce myself with a few pictures. So um, I um, work in sport and uh, I have been doing sport myself. I've done track and field. I was a jumper, a high jumper, a long jumper. I did hurdles. I did sprints, a little bit of javelin. That, that was my sport when I was young. And then I was doing bobsleigh for the national team in the Netherlands. And so those are my sports. Uh, but here on the picture, you see me in, on the right upper part. I'm now Canadian. I originally come from the Netherlands, but I've become Canadian 100%. Um, and I work for Canadian sport and Alberta sport. And I do that a lot since 25 years. One of the coolest things in my work is that I work with different sports. And I'm gonna ask you, how many different sports can you identify on this slide? One is a little bit cryptic because there's three ladies standing on a podium. That was during the Canada Games in Red Deer in 2019. These ladies do biathlon. So that's skiing and shooting a rifle and they race. And they, they were so good, they swept the podium and uh, left the rest of the country in their wake. But you probably can identify the other sports. Maybe you have seen some of the sports, maybe not. Maybe some of these sports are new. In the middle, on the top in the middle, you see this uh, skeleton slider. So this is a, a sliding athlete that goes down the bobsleigh track or the loose track on a little sled that, she's push that she is pushing here. And then she will jump up and go, go goes down head first. Isn't that crazy? And below that skeleton athlete, you see a, a bunch of uh, young women and they are artistic swimmers. And I will tell you, I've never seen athletes train harder than artistic swimmers. They spend so many hours in the pool, perfecting their routine. That's all so fine tuned. Obviously it needs to be very synchronized. And this obviously is a little bit of a fun picture. Then on the right side, you can clearly see that's a target shooter. That's a very different sport that, I, that I've never, never knew about, but I started working with a target shooter. And they are trying to be as precise as possible in shooting on the target. 
and they do that 40 times or 60 times. And so that's really difficult. And then you see a young gymnast on the other side and an alpine skier. So I love working with all sports and I've been doing it for a long time. In 2010, five years after, after I came to Canada was a big year for me. I was working with Team Canada at the Olympic Games and I was working with Team Alberta at the uh, National Summer Games in, um, uh, with Team Alberta. And you see us walking into the stadium right there. It's a very, very special moment. So great year. I love working with all sports and I would like to help athletes to be the best that they can be. That is my passion. That is my, um, that is my thrill. And so I've been really fortunate to be working with Special Olympics since 2010, and that's now 12 years, almost half my career, my half, half of my career, I've been working with Special Olympics Alberta. Now, this is Maximize Your Mind season six. And I, you know, this is just an old slide from the first, from the first, uh, from the first session seven weeks ago. But, you know, in the five previous version of the peak program, there were 1,300 trips to the peak by you athletes. There were 850,000 minutes of physical exercise. There were 133 sessions with coaches, healthy, tip, health, healthy tips, and mental, mental, uh, mental fitness, mental performance. And I ask you then, are you ready to make another journey and raise the bar? And I'm sure that in the past six, seven weeks, you have raised the bar and all these numbers are up. I'm sure that there is more trips, more minutes and more sessions since we started seven weeks ago. So that's great. Now, I always go to the bingo card before I do my session because I want to know what you guys are going to do, what you want to score points on. I always want to see what the challenges are. And I already see share a selfie rocking your new peak buff. I'm sure that's another peak, another buff that, uh, that you all guys get. And uh, they're very popular, I know. I also see the attend the maple leaf mixer dance maple leaf mixer dance that that would be awesome that is probably later this week uh share another photo but and more importantly is you want to do all those exercises resistance bands jumping jacks sitting twists hydration nutrition all eat all the fruits all important and i wonder what you're going to do for your free space so maybe in a chat, I'm going to open the chat, and there's already people putting out, put, uh, uh, putting something in the in the in the chat. Um, what would you put in the free space? Any activity that you could do this week, any healthy activity, any smart activity, any thinking activity, any relaxation activity, what type of activity would you put in the middle in the free space? Doing Zumba, that sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah, it's not on the list, not on the bingo card, but why wouldn't you do Zumba? Absolutely. Draw something. Yes, drawing is really, really healthy, really, really good. You can express your emotions, your feelings. It's relaxing, it gives you something to do, and the result is mostly beautiful. Yoga, I see, listen to music, relaxing, yoga, P Pilate, Pilates, take my dog for a nice long walk. I like that one as well. Mindfulness breathing, there you go. See, that's what the free space is for. And what I'm so happy to know and to see is that you now know what these things are and how good and how healthy and how positive they are all, the Zumba and the mindfulness. Celebrate Canada Day. Why wouldn't you put that in the middle? P put a big maple leaf in the middle of this bingo card. Absolutely. So that's absolutely great. So uh, the other question I always ask is, which peak are you climbing this time? Um, is it Everest? Is it Denali? Is it Mount Robson? Is it Kilimanjaro? Kilimanjaro? Uh, or is it the Matterhorn? And I think I already told you last time that I've only seen one of these five mountains for real, and that's the Matterhorn. That's the only one that I've seen. I've lived in Switzerland for a few years. 
I worked with the ski team and I, we went to that place where the Matterhorn is. And it's a very impressive, impressive mountains. And they're all impressive mountains. So you have been making a huge effort to get up to these peaks. And as you're going up, this is the cool thing about climbing mountains is that the views change, the views get better and the views get better as the higher you get. Sometimes it's a little scary, a little, little, little steep, a little deep. But usually when, you, when you're up there, the views are pretty spectacular. So as you're doing, you know, week eight of the peak, the trek to the peak, how is the view right now? Can you already enjoy it? Can you already imagining making those last few steps onto the top? Awesome. Because that is important also in mental fitness, right? It is to be inspired, to see in your mind what you can do or where you can go. And, you know, maybe you're, maybe you're having a little bit more to do, maybe, a little, maybe one more week of work, but then you'll find yourself at the top, at the finish. And so that's really good to keep in your mind. Just, okay, let's keep going. Let's finish strong. Let's do this. We're, we're doing this together. We're, do, we're doing this for a good reason. I'm doing this for good reason. So let's do this. And the views are going to be spectacular. Now, just a quick, quick reminder about mental fitness. I've used this, uh, this slide before. Is, is what is mental fitness? It's these different mental skills, you know, that help us think well, feel well, uh, behave well, do the good things that are helping our performance and our, and our well-being. And the way I can explain it, mental fitness, is what I say to myself, what I'm thinking. What I see in my mind, what I can see in my mind, just what I'm focusing on, just what I said about doing that last, that last bit to get to the peak, what I can see in my mind, what I, can, what I should be focusing on, what I feel, how I feel, and how I can change that, how I can manage that, you know, when I'm a little too anxious, a little, a little too nervous, a little too... You know, I can bring it down. I can do some mindfulness breathing. I can do some yoga and I can feel different by doing those types of activities. And how I do, you know, how I act, how I behave, how I perform. And I always say what I say to myself, what I see in my mind, what I feel, how I do is important before you get into your performance. And that's really about getting ready, getting ready for, for your race or getting ready for your game at as you are in the race, as you're racing, as you are playing the game, you can still think about what do I tell myself? You know, what do I do? But also afterwards. And, you know, that helps our learning. That helps to make sense of our experience and actually to take something away. And that's what we're going to do today in, the, in week eight of the track to the peak. We're going to look at what is it that we learn? Well, what is it that that we want to take away? How does it improve what we're trying to establish? Okay. Now I'm going to look back and I'm going to show you a slide, but I also going to show you my notebook because uh, in uh, the first peak, second peak, this is like a year and a half, maybe it's almost two years ago. I use a notebook. I didn't use PowerPoint or slides. So I'm going to show you some, some of my notes. Here's, the, here's a good question. You still have a week to go. You're not quite at the top, but you're getting there really close. And my question that I always, always want to know about first, what is your biggest achievement? What is your biggest achievement in this peak season? I can also ask you this way. I'm going to show you my notebook from... From, from six, peak, six peaks ago. Can you see this? What was the best part? What did you do well? So it's not only one question. I can ask you, what is your biggest achievement in this track? What is your, what was the best part? What did you do best? What did you do well? So maybe you want to put it in the chat or maybe some of you may want to kind of raise their hands and tell us what is your biggest achievement this season? What was the best part? Who, who wants to share that with us? You can raise your hand. 
Okay, we have uh, we have Cassie. Let's start with Cassie. Cassie, why don't you tell us or or me what is your biggest achievement or what was the best part of this particular peak season number six? For me, my favorite part would have been the the social club that we had on the in May, having it on the Tuesday, then coming into June and doing it on the Thursdays. That's great. And, and can I ask you what was so what is so what is so great about social club? I go see friends that I don't normally go see on these days. And we also do like sometimes we had breakout rooms, sometimes we didn't do breakout rooms and we're in yep. one group all together. It's really about being with people together, right? And that's a really important part of sport mm -hmm. in general is that we can do this together. Now we have to sometimes do it on the peak program on Zoom, but we can still do something in social club. Thank you very much for sharing, Cassie. I appreciate that. Let's, let's, uh, let's move it over to uh, Jordan, Jordan Tyson. What is the biggest achievement you, you had this season? Um, we had to power it up to use the strength to carry up and to stay active, stay strong, stay healthy. So we don't, we don't exercise too much. And that's exactly what you did? Yes. Excellent, that's a really good achievement. Thank you for, 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 for joining that. I'm gonna ask uh, Laura LaPere, Either the question that's on your screen, what's your biggest achievement, or what was what was what was the best part? What would you say, Laura? Okay, so my biggest achievement, I would say for this year, I think I could go along with peak. Um, is that one thing I did post on the peak program a little while ago? was I posted my 15 year award from getting from my job at South Trail Crossing Winners. Wow, 15 years yes. of working with winners. Did I hear that yes. correctly? Congratulations, yes. that's a quite the achievement. Yes, that is that, great. And then I also got a little gift to go with it. I got a, a Nick Lays. Nice. Yeah, I got a necklace. Um, nice, very nice, Laura. Yeah, it was. I don't know if you can see it, but that was my gift. That's beautiful. I'm and very place, happy for you. And that, you know, 15 years working somewhere is definitely a very, very big achievement. I think I also uh, am 15 years with the company I'm working for, but I haven't, I haven't gotten a, ne a nice necklace yet thank you for sharing a lot i'm gonna i'm gonna ask kaylee you have your hand up what was the best part for you this season what what is something that you really did well or liked or what was your biggest achievement um my achievement is the, the best part of, of this peak is staying healthy drinking a lot of water and eat healthy foods and you stuck to it yeah, but I'm doing a lot of different types of salads, like steak nice. salad, chicken salad, chicken <laughs> stir fries, a lot of with veggies. Isn't that isn't that actually very good? Isn't that nice? Why yeah. don't we all give a big, 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 big round of applause for Kaylee for sticking to the plan and, and, and executing well? Awesome. And we should do the same for Laura and for uh, Cassie that were, that spoke before. So for everyone, like because I have more questions, so we'll go back. To, we'll come back to some of the people that I wasn't able to to ask yet. You can tell me later as well. But everyone should think about this question: What's the best? What's what's what? What was the best part? What did I like best? What did I do well? What was my biggest achievement? When we're when we want to become be confident, when we want to feel good about ourselves. Why wouldn't we talk about, why wouldn't we think about what, what we did well, what we, what we achieved? So always, always, you know, give yourself kudos for something that you set your mind to, you set goals for, you may put the effort in, you execute it and you follow through and you got some of the results. That is awesome. Okay, 
But achievements is not the only thing that we're, that we're getting through sport. I am sure that you all, or some of you at least, also had some challenges. When we're doing sport, when we're, when we're trying to, to do our best, sometimes we run into a roadblock, a hurdle, something that's difficult, something that ah, we, did, we don't get right right away something that we have to to work really 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 hard for so what are some of these challenges that's my next question and when i look back in my notes from two years ago you can also ask what was the hardest part just a different way of asking so what was your biggest challenge this peak this peak season or what was the hardest part and the second question is because we are always facing these challenges and i think we athletes we we actually sign up to to face the challenge to embrace the challenge to meet the challenge and to uh, conquer the challenge if we can you know just like that little guy in the picture just taking the hurdle how did you take the hurdle how did you manage and that's the second part of the question so what kind of challenge or, or difficulty did you did you encounter did you run into and how did you manage how did you make it work so i'm going to ask alex you have your hand up i see you in my screen what was something that you found pretty difficult and challenging so the reason why i find it uh uh a biggest achievement to uh, to challenge for this week is to uh, complete every bingo that we just worked on, and so, <laughs> and for my uh, biggest achievement, I got so much money for for working uh, four days a week as Source Energy Services, and I got eight hundred dollars, which is very much. That is pretty good. You know what? I can actually relate to what you're saying that if you're trying to do everything all the time, like every every task that's on the bingo card, everything that you have to comp complete or accomplish every week, that's a lot. And that's a, that, that is a big challenge. And I'm sure there are certain days or certain weeks, Alex, where mm, you didn't quite do it all. But how did you manage that? How did you cope with that? How did you uh, keep going? That's because I just work uh, four days a week, yeah. and I got paid for just every two weeks. Yeah. Excellent. So you keep going, you keep counting the days that you're working, and eventually you get paid for it. Exactly. Oh, that's that's a good foresight. You know, that's that's a good motivation, because I know I'm going to get it. I just have to make the days. You know, I just have to have to make the tasks. So keep. You know, keep your eye on the prize. Can I say it that way, Alex? Keep your eye on the prize. Sure thing, Frank. I won't let you down. Good, excellent. And, and while you keep your eye on the prize, you still you still want to want to think about okay, but still I have to do something. Still I have to execute. I still have to do these workouts. I still have to eat all those fruits and vegetables. I still have to, you know, do some of these other tasks. So keep the eye on the prize because it's coming. But you you want to you want to work for it really really good. I'm going to ask Lori. You have your hand. Frank. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate. No problem, that. Frank. Hand time. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to ask Lori. You have your hand up. What what, oh, what did you think? What oh, did you Frank. think was challenging or difficult for you? Okay, so my biggest achievement was um, I recently just injured my um, my knees. Oh yeah. So. Um, my biggest achievement was this Saturday at Marathon of Sports. It was my second motion ball. I got out there and there were some sports I couldn't do. Okay. But my biggest achievement and competition was going up against Christina. Uh, yeah. And then my biggest achievement was going up against Darby and Leonka. Okay. Where, I where we had to go and toss basketballs into their into their garbage can yes and um i also noticed like a special olympics is taught as well yes that, um 
so on the weekend I know it was so hot. Yeah. And I noticed a couple of my friends were not looking so good. Okay. So I called my coach and my coach told me to go tell one of the volunteers. So I told the volunteer and I said that that athlete does not look really good. No. You might need to call a medic. So then the yeah. medic came and said to me, how did you figure out um, that they were dehydrated or, right. or right. sunstroke? Yes. I said, one, she was like, had her arms crossed over. Yes. And two, one of her coaches tried to help her walk across the field and she kind of just fell down. Oh, so yeah. So one, you... watch, watch that sun because... Two, if you feel like you're going to get dehydrated, carry either a Gatorade with you or tons of water. Of course. Or always stay where people can see you. That is great to hear. And I can see that as a great achievement as well, Laurie, because it seems that you're a very caring teammate. You look out for others. I you're, do. You're, you're competing with others and against others, but you're looking out for others. That's the best teammate we can have. Yep. Uh, absolutely thanks for sharing that is that is that is that is gold that is gold um i'm gonna ask jordan mcleod you know you can talk about achievements but did you also face challenges did you face did you run into difficulties and how did you do okay so my biggest achievement and my um peak season are um very um Good. I like all the challenges and I like finger cards. Good, is, good. Me occupied. Yeah. And I like all the mindfulness um, sessions that you do. Yes. Seeing all you guys. So that's my biggest achievement right there. Excellent. Um, I do have one advice. Um, yes. With that one athlete that was um, before me. Um, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I watch um I watch some other athletes as well. So yeah. I'm very active about my fellow athletes. Good, good. Friends. And I want them to to um keep hydrated and and yeah, yeah. Um get sunstroke and stuff. So I'm I'm very protective with my friends. Excellent. And sometimes I do help a close friend. Um, at times, sometimes um, with mindfulness, but um, mm -hmm. she she likes um, all the um, um, the mindfulness techniques that I do with her. Right. Miss um, Abby. So yeah. I, um, because she's working, and um, sometimes when she gets home, she's tired. So I go in and help her. Um, to um to stay calm at times and and I got a uh, soft machine so it really wow. helps. That is pretty cool, Jordan. And what I'm hearing is uh, while you keep yourself very busy with all these exercises and tasks, you even have some time left over to look out for others and help others. And that is really something else that uh, Pete can do. It's not something that you do for yourself. It's something that we do together. And everyone is is trying their best. And yes, when I talked about, aren't we happy that it's summer? At the same time, we want to make sure that we do stay hydrated, that we do stay cool enough. So you uh, look for shade. Now I'm going to ask uh, maybe one more person about some of the challenges or difficulties that you faced during this peak season. And in particular, how did you manage? What did you, how did you what do you do to help yourself? So can I ask uh, Danielle, Danielle, Danielle Gold, I think you, you wrote a, a good, nice text in the, in the chat, but what was a challenge you were facing this peak season, Danielle? Um, for me, the challenge was to always keep motivated, to keep going every day to try to do mm -hmm. the exercise repetition. And the second part is, Really not being involved in in-person programs because a lot of my family members are immune compromised. Right. So I'm trying to stay away from crowds to keep them safer. So Excellent. hopefully next year I will be 
back into sports and yes. other programs. Yes, we all hope that. But, uh, you know, it's really nice that you point out that you always try to find the motivations, the reasons why you want to do this, because that keeps us going. So I'm going to have one more question on the next slide, and then we're going to do an exercise together. Let me see how I can manage my screen here. It's always difficult. Um, there we go. This is smaller. This should fit. Yeah. So the next question, so we talked about achievements. We talked a little bit about challenges. This is how I would want to look at it, right? If, you're, if we're looking at our performance and we want to kind of take away something, first of all, think about what you did well. What was your achievement? What makes you feel good? And second of all, what can you do different? What can you do better? And, and what do the challenges teach us? Now, through this peak season, and I know you still have week eight to complete, but this, is, this question is really, really important, I think. Oh, no. This was the, sorry, that I got ahead of myself. This was the question I asked you in the first session of season six. And I, we did this exercise around talent is never enough. And how do you bring the best out of your talent? And you can see in the circles, you know, believe lifts, passion energizes, initiative activates. Focus directs, preparation, practice, perseverance, courage sometimes is needed to test yourself. Teachability, character, your own character, relationships, what we do together, responsibility, what we, what we take ownership of, and also teamwork. And back then, you know, seven weeks ago, I asked you, which two talent transformers do you would, would, would you want to improve, improve on this peak season? And, you know, maybe you forgot and I get it. Uh, maybe you've actually looked at it or thought, thought something about it. So who, may, who can put in the chat which one or two talent transformers you have been benefiting from, you have been working with through this peak season? Was it more about belief? Was it more about practice? Was it more about passion? Was it more about courage or perseverance? Which two, one or two talent transformers do you think were, were, were important for you? Teamwork and fo focus. Thank you, Kayla. Very straightforward. Teamwork and courage. I think we're going to see a lot of teamwork because this whole peak program is a pretty big team effort. Teamwork and focus, teamwork and courage. What else did, did you kind of look at to relationships and the teamwork? Again, the whole social aspect of doing this. I like it. The friendship. Yes. Excellent. So I'll give, I'll give you three more seconds to maybe put something in the chat. This was just a reminder. I wasn't testing you. I wasn't checking upon you. It's just a reminder that some of these things can be super, super helpful to, uh, to, to work on. Initiative. I like that, Megan. Thank you for sharing with us. Perfect. Okay, but now this other question I'm going to put on the next slide. Thank you, everyone, for participating. So we've done a great peak season, or almost. There are still eight, seven days, six days to go. The, the last week, week eight, needs to be complete, and there is still a lot more activity coming. But we don't want to stop after the Canada, Canada Day weekend. We, we just don't wanna let that drop. We haven't lost all this weight to, to put it on again. We wanna maintain our fitness and our, and our good habits. So the question that I'm asking here is, which habits and routines are you going to continue? Which habits and routines are you going to continue even when the peak program is over after week eight, which habits and routines are you going to continue? Or which habits or routines are you going to stop because they're not very helpful, you know? Or which habits or routines are you going to start? You know, stop, continue, stop, start. Eating healthy, walking more, continuing hot chocolate breathing. I like that. Water and getting up in the water and daily exercise, getting stronger for provincials. And I see Danielle also, the focus, the focus, perseverance and passion, excellent. Drinking water, keep it, keep doing that. 
this is really important. This is why I put the word transfer there is because it's not only about what we've been able to achieve in the last eight, seven, eight weeks during peak, but how can we transfer it into summer, summer of 2022? So by the, by the time summer ends, let's say in September or October, we've had a, not only a nice summer, a nice warm summer, uh, uh, but also a healthy summer. We actually ended summer super healthy, just like, we, just like we started. So which routines are you going to continue? Exercise, more yoga, and also drinking water. Ask my friends to help stay us on track. Less habits, you know, bad habit snacking, okay? Sometimes it's okay, but maybe the habit snacking is not okay. Organizing better. See, this is super important. You guys are doing an awesome job about thinking about, okay, what have I learned and what do I want to continue doing? What do I want to take away? What do I want to stop? What do I want to start? Because we want to continue with our, with our fitness, with our mental fitness, with our healthy habits. Excellent. Where Benetra? Excellent. Excellent. Very, very, very good work. And you know what? And then it's also time, and I have to just double check what time we have right now because I lost tech track of time. Oh, we have a little bit more time. And then you should never forget to also, uh, what? where is it? To also celebrate. Celebrate. Maybe you do this, that with the dance. Maybe you do it together in social club. You know, maybe... An employer gives you a necklace because you're working somewhere 15 years, which is a great example. You're celebrating something really, really cool. And the question is, how would we want to celebrate? And if we think about being happy, being content, being satisfied, where do we feel it most? Around our heart. Our heart starts to glow. And it puts up a smile in our face because we like it. And guess what? Smiles are contagious because as soon as I start smiling, even if it's forced, you start smiling because you think it's funny. And so now we are, now are, now we are uh, working ourselves in a diff little bit of a different mood. And then we can cheer and we can dance. We can breathe and we can relax. And we can actually celebrate all our accomplishments. Now, maybe by a show of hands, who kind of keeps track about what you're doing in the bingo card? Do you keep a journal? Do you uh, take some annotations, maybe make some drawings? And that's really, really good because now you can look back and say, you know, that is what I did in week one. That's what I did in week two. This is what I did all throughout the weeks. So I have so much reason to celebrate and feel good. Now, I do think the next slide has the special password for this session. Maximize your mind's Monday session with me. Uh, and this password used to be my sport. And I think earlier in tonight, I already mentioned what sport I did. So do you want to give it a give it a go and guess? Put it in the chat and see if you're right. If you listened carefully, if you paid attention, I'm testing you. What sport did I you did I used to do? Yes, there we go, bobsled. And ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly the password: bobsled. It's uh, bobsled is more like the American uh, way of uh, articulating it. Uh, bobsled is yeah American, and bobsleigh is more like Canadian. But that is the password. That's where you get your points. That's where you continue to go up that mountain and uh, continue your track. So I'm gonna put it. Uh, both work for me, says uh, says Justin. So both bobsled as well as bobsleigh. Just put it in and you get your points. How about that? Now, I did, you know, I, 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 I figured we're going to have a very nice, easy, last maximize your mind session. Just looking back a little bit on the season of peak, 
a little bit looking about what we've learned, what we can celebrate, what we can feel about, get, feel good about the achievements, also what some of the challenges are and how we learn through that, how it makes us better. So that is what I had prepared and you have the password. So I would like to open it up for maybe 10 minutes of some conversation, maybe some questions. Maybe you'd like to tell me what's your takeaway? What is it tonight that you're that you're taking away that makes you that 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 makes it work for you? Uh, something that you've learned, something that you like. So I'm gonna stop sharing. You're all back on Zoom. And we can have a little bit of a chat here. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want to celebrate something like Laura does with the Canadian Canadian flag, the maple leaf. I don't have one with me here. I have it upstairs. Uh, can I give you the range, Justin? Uh, yeah. Maybe. I can direct a few uh, questions. So we'll open the mic so we'll go to laura you can unmute and ask your question one thing i will say about peak program that for this session is that i it was my first time of doing the social club all the other peak sessions i did not do social club and i was a little bit nervous to join it because i wasn't sure what to expect but as i was in it i I uh, liked it more. And another big, big, big reason I joined Social Club when I did it was because, and if you guys keep doing this, be very good, um, is that because it was at six o'clock, not five o'clock. I liked it that we had it an hour yeah. later than before. Right. To me, I thought that was a big thing because when it was at five, I always had to miss it because of supper. Right. So. Hey, Laura. Yes. I've, um, you attended social club not too long ago for the first time and you weren't quite sure what to expect. And uh -huh. I believe you needed a bit of courage to get in there. I did need courage and with the time difference, that's one of the biggest reasons Excellent. I did yeah. attempt it because I didn't want to change the timing for myself to have supper with my family because I just feel that's important and I yeah, don't want course. don't like to change the time for that for anything. I'm glad so, it worked out. And I would say also my biggest challenge overall for the peak program is that like I've I've met a lot of new friends online um even with all the hikes that I do with my mom and my sister I'm a really big hiker as you probably see with the pictures um you know I I've gotten so fast in my hiking over the years. I'm like way faster than my sister now and almost faster than my mom, you know, like. Wow. So it's like, guess what, uh, guess what, do, race. guess what, uh, what, uh, what good exercise and good mindset can do, hey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because when I was really young, like a teenager, um I used to actually almost hate hiking or not like it much my mom used to actually have to like drag me up the mountain and now it's the opposite <laughs> I'm actually beating her up the mountain <laughs> I'm really glad to hear that well done Laura well done thanks for thanks for sharing awesome yeah thanks Laura uh Kaylee you can unmute Hi, Frank. Hi, Kelly. How are you? I'm doing great. Yes, I'm super happy. It's a great, you know, I like Mondays. I'm not sure about you, but I like my work. And usually Mondays is the day that my work starts after the weekend. So, and I guess what I get, uh, guess who I get to hang out with on Monday evening. So I'm, I'm really good. How are you? I'm doing good. So uh, what I like so far about this Peaks program is how I make friends with, like, a lot of my phone now. 
Awesome. It's great. You know, even in times of hardship and isolation, we still can make friends. I'm so happy that you can do that. So happy. Yeah, I had relaxes on my phone. Then I have Alex. I have Dorby. Quite a few people <laughs> I do have. I'm starting making nice. friends with. Nice. So that's great. what that's I awesome take kids. away from my peak. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Cassie, you can unmute me. One thing I'm looking forward to this week, Frank, is my birthday in two days. Your birthday is in two days. Are you always, yes. are you celebrating birthday every every year on this? Like, what, what would it be, uh, June 29th? Yes. Nice. Happy birthday. Uh, no, what, what is it? Uh, early happy birthday to you. I'm excited because I'm turning 22 in two days. Oh, that's awesome. And you're turning 22 in tw in 2022? Yes. That's pretty cool. I wish you a lot of fun with your friends and family. Uh, don't eat too much cake, okay? <laughs> and yeah, I'm actually doing one fun thing tomorrow with one of my friends who I, who I go to camp with and who I bowled right beside this past year. We're going to go see Lightyear possibly tomorrow. Awesome. Awesome. That would be our super fun couple of days happy happy early birthday and uh have a fantastic week and a fantastic end of uh peak week thank you awesome thanks cassie uh joanna you can unmute hi frank um so i actually got home yesterday after my uncle passed away oh yeah yeah, and it, so the, I think his um, death makes me like more like courage and don't feel down and all those things. So I just have to like keep it in. I hope it's not. And I actually, I'm like, do you, do you not do the rest of the peak program? But I was mm -hmm. out and I didn't bring my iPad with me. Mm -hmm. So I missed like quite a few Excellent. points. So um, your name is not Mary Sandra. What's on the That's Zoom? That's my middle board? name. Okay, so I'm very sorry to hear of your uncle's passing, and uh, you know Thanks. it's it's. Uh, but I'm 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 I'm. It's really good that you bring it up because life can't always be fantastic mm -hmm. or perfect. Yeah. There is these hardships and there is these things that happen. Sometimes we grieve and uh, feel sorrow. Sometimes we are stressed and sometimes we are a little anxious, and uh, we want to acknowledge all those different. Um, feelings or emotions they're all part of our existence we don't like them all necessarily but usually we can be okay uh, we can manage you know we're maybe very sad or upset or stressed but if we're just you know you know what is really good is that we keep doing things that we normally do and i call them routines so if you're used to a little bit of exercise I yeah. encourage you to continue with a little bit of exercise. If you express yourself with journaling or with drawing, uh, continue to do that. If you play music or you, you enjoy music, continue to do that. Sometimes mindfulness breathing, relaxation can help us take a little bit of that, well, how would I call that, sting? The sting out okay. of sorrow, the sting out of stress away. It's not that it's gone, but maybe a little bit more, uh, maybe a little bit more, um, maybe a, just a little bit more okay. Okay. Ab thanks. Absolutely. Thanks, Frank. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Jordan, you can unmute. So my takeaway of the peak was um, me and um, new friends and um, I like everyone on this um, session tonight. So like Abby, um, Heather, and Kyla, and Justin, and and um, Frank, and Frank. I really like all of you guys. So I'm glad to be on this peak program with with all of you. Nice. And, and soon enough, it's going to be again in our teams, on the pitches, on the fields, in training and competition. 
And I also would want to, and I'm not, I'm not putting you on the spot, uh, on the spot, but uh, I see, I see Dylan and Darby. I see Betty and, uh, and Brittany and Abby. Um, think for yourself, what is the most valuable thing that I take away from this, uh, from this peak program? How did it help me? What do I, how does it benefit me? And that really is a good reminder is that um, it may be social, it's maybe with friends, it may be physical fitness, it may be managing our emotions or our feelings, anything that helps, uh, you know, healthy, healthy, healthy habits. Um, this is what it's for. And I'm so glad that you guys get to do this together. I only get to peek in, peek into the peak program, maybe only twice every time. Thank you, Darby. I like your thumbs up. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, we will do one more. So Alex, you will be the last one for tonight. Alex. Hey, Frank, what's up? I'm cool. I'm, uh, I, I'm thirsty. I, I talk a lot, you know? Yeah, that's okay. How are you? Uh, pretty good. I haven't seen you for a long time because I was so busy with my activities. Oh, well, that's not a bad thing, is it? Yeah. I mean, other than not seeing me, I mean, that's a bad, that's a bad thing, but having activities is pretty okay. Um, what are some of the things that are super meaningful for you when you're participating in this program, and, and how does it make a difference for you, Alex? So when I first started uh, joining for a peak program, is to stay contact through social media like Facebook and YouTube and our face. Mm -hmm. And does that work well for you? It's very super, super meaningful to me. Okay, good, 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 good. And so yeah, this, so this, whole, this whole Zoom meeting that we're having right now fits in there quite well then, I assume. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Well, you know, to be honest with you, it has been two years, six peak programs to be with you here online and Zoom and Facebook. Uh, it's been really good. I would do it again. But you know what? I would also like to see you for real. How about that? That would be that would be cool. Hopefully we'll get to do that at some point. Set start setting goals, similar goals to what you've worked on now, maybe not completely the same. But maybe in a similar way, you know, this much exercise, this is my nutrition, this is how I uh, practice my yoga, or I'm, I, I put up a YouTube video and start dancing, set some of those goals, because we know that if people set some goals, those people usually achieve more of it. If you don't set goals, well, it's easy, it's easy not, not to reach the goals. So... Put a similar list as a bingo card. Make your own list. Make your own list of activities and 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 put and 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 and, and plan it in the week. Does that work for you, Danielle? Uh, is that something that you can work with? Perfect. Getting a thumbs up there. Good. Awesome. Um, so Frank, as always, I want to thank you very much for joining us. It's always a pleasure having you mm -hmm. and, uh, your knowledge and being able to learn. Uh, it's been a lot with six peaks and you've always been a massive part. So I, I cannot thank you enough. And I know the athletes really enjoy your sessions. Um, and then just so everyone is aware, social club this week will be a bit earlier. It will be five 30 to six 30 because we have the dance starting at seven. Uh, so we have a great way to finish off peak. We had a great session today with Frank. I hope you have a great week eight of peak and we will see you on Thursday. Bye everyone. Have a good week. Happy Canada Day.